Okay, guys, time to get back to work on my castle slash house slash whatever the heck it is. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy this right here. Hold in control alt and drag this out just a tidbit because I got a feeling I'm going to want to make my walls just a tidbit bigger. So let's go ahead and add a bridge now by opening the content browser and dragging this bridge right here out right about there. And it looks pretty huge now, and I think that is because my camera is right close to it. I don't think it's really that huge. So if we go ahead and in our side view, scroll in, scroll in. Did you guys ever see that CSI where they're like, enhance, enhance? It's BS. Anyways, you guys probably have no idea what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and in my top view, position this right where we want it. And I'm going to need the grow to bridge by like... Let's uh, give it 2.0, see how that looks, 2.0. Mm, let's go ahead and bump it up just a tid bit more, 2.5. Mm. All right, good enough. So in my top view, I want to position that right about, actually it looks pretty dang good from my perspective. Nicely positioned bridge, Bucky. And now let me go ahead and look in these views, make sure it's touching, and hey, good enough and just verify in my perspective view that it looks amazing and verified so now I got my bridge and bridge pads now it's time to actually start building this castle or whatever the heck I'm gonna build so go ahead and in your content browser I think I feel in my heart that as soon as our user is gonna come in then we want to build them like an epic archway to go under so let's go ahead and in our content browser delete bridge and go ahead and type in arch and let's see what we got to work with this one looks pretty cool but that might be a little hard to work with this one might be a little easier to work with and it looks pretty dang good so go ahead and drag that out on your screen and the first thing I'm noticing is this is amazingly amazingly huge so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be shrinking that by hmm, let's see 0.5 let's see how that works yeah it's a little bit better so let's go ahead and select that and see where it is and maybe if we alright that looks pretty good right there I mean we can always move it later on right like I said kinda winging this tutorial but I think uh, that arch looks pretty good right there the reason that I'm not gonna adjust it up and down right now is because I'm gonna build the walls first and then I'm gonna set it right on top of the walls so with that being said I'm gonna go ahead into my content browser grab some walls and by the way if you guys think you can build a better castle than this awesome amazing one I'm building go ahead and build it and send it to me in a video response and I'll just approve all the video responses like I always do I don't even look at them I just put check all approve all and uh, we can see who builds the best castle and uh, I'm guessing that yours can probably be better than mine since I'm doing this in like five seconds so let's go ahead and search for a wall none of these look very appetizing this one looks alright but Want something a little more hmm, this looks pretty good so let's go ahead and drag this out X and my wall looks pretty good right now but I wanted just a tid bit bigger so I'm gonna go ahead and hmm, let's say I want to grow this by 1.5 that looks pretty good so the very first thing I'm gonna do is position it exactly where I want it and that would just happen to be well let's say we want to like leave space on each side obviously so we'll go ahead and put one right there and we'll put another one right there for now so if we go ahead and take this and drag it up so it sits right on top of those then in my front view I can just go ahead and grab each one of these and drag them right under again if you're building a game you typically wanna you know take more than half a second and make sure everything's positioned correctly but for now I do not want to do that so this is what I get and I guess even if I want to yeah I got an idea so I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and I'm gonna drag them both up because I kinda want the effect that yeah that effect right there I really like where this is going oh yeah this is gonna look sweet so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab these walls right here and probably in my top view would be the best bet 
yeah oh yeah and just go ahead and rotate and then with your rotate thing selected go ahead and hold down alt and you can actually rotate these to copy them as well you guys probably thought that moving them was the only way but boy were you wrong so let's go ahead and if we position these exactly where we want them with both of them selected still and just move them right about there and go ahead in my perspective view I want to make sure they look amazing again we really don't want these to overlap because if they overlap then your stack meshes are going to create this concrete looping through each other and it wouldn't look really natural so I think that's a pretty good natural looking again see this look right here of this concrete kind of going into this that's alright because I mean concrete could be built into each other but if these walls were doing it then that would look unnatural so for now it looks pretty good I think so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and select those and all and drag it down right about there and now let me go ahead oh man this is looking just oh my it's almost looking too good that's the problem so with those being selected I'm gonna go ahead and drag these and I'm gonna kinda of make a hallway so let me just go ahead and in my top view alt and drag you can almost make a song out of this alt and drag and alt and drag and one and two and alt and drag so I got a nice little hallway going on there so let me go ahead and scroll down to players view and as I, <laughs> as I can see, first and foremost, this is totally not centered. But I'm just going to say that that's what I was going for, even though it clearly was not what I was going for. So let's go ahead and um, see what we got so far. So we got a starting point right here. Looks pretty good. The player is going to cross over this bridge. Look around. Huh, one of us over here. Huh? No, nothing. One of us over here. I got about going to go down this hallway. And that's what the player is going to do. So it actually looks pretty epic in my side view right here. Looking pretty good. Again, if we want to make this even more epic, you can add windows and, you know, maybe a guy at the top shooting catapults at you. But we don't have time for that right now. So in the next tutorial, what I'm going to be doing is, well, I'm just going to be spicing things up a bit. So it's going to be awesome. Again, um, like I said, the best way to probably learn this is just to create your own. But if you want to stick with me and watch me build the rest of my awesome castle then you are welcome to again sorry I didn't plan anything out but hey <laughs> that's that this is all you guys get so thank you guys for watching and uh, oh, I just I just had another idea I'm gonna go ahead and expand these all the way down I'm gonna do that between this video and the next video so when you guys come back this is gonna look even more awesome so for now thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video